Hi everybody, my name is Victoria Taylor. I'm super excited to be here as part of Innovate. We're going to be talking about all sorts of things that people in the state are doing in terms of innovation technology. So I hope that you join me and along on this journey as I explore the many corners of this beautiful state and it'll be a lot of fun. Today on Innovate for Vermont PBS, we're going to visit John Churchman's Moonrise Farm here in Essex, Vermont, where he and his wife create children's books. They've leveraged the power of social media to bring the adventures of Sweet Pea the Sheep and Friends to the world without leaving their beautiful farm. Let's check it out. Hi. Are you John Churchman? I'm, I am John. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Victoria. Hi. Good to meet you. Thanks for inviting me over. You're welcome. So tell me a little bit about this place. Well, this is our farm. This is a uh... Moonrise Farm is our barn, our sheep barn. This is Laddie. Here, I'll introduce you. This is one of our puppies. Oh my goodness, that's what an armful. He is. They're about, he's, he's, that's Scout. We have three Border Collie puppies. That's one of them. This is Maisie's over here. That's the mother. Maisie, come here. Come here, Maisie. She's beautiful. Come say hi. Sit. Good girl. Before I fall into a puppy daze, should we go and meet Sweet Pea and friends? Sure, let's come on in. All you right. Put, put him on down. All right. He'll run around. Here we go. So really what kind of makes Sweet Pea and Friends unique is the fact that you've allowed people to learn about what it's like to be out here in a rural Vermont farm from anywhere. Yeah, you know, I've been making a living as an artist and also a commercial artist and, and graphic design, various things in Vermont for 25 years. And as, as oh. you might know or don't know, I mean, it's almost, it's really difficult to make a living as, a, as an artist in Vermont. Because you have a very, you have a very, we have 500,000 people here and you really need to get your product outside of Vermont to sustain because if, you, if it's a choice between buying a, a fine art print or a snow shovel in Vermont, the people buy a snow shovel. With a lot of famous internet animals and personalities and things like that, a lot of people set out with that deliberate goal of, you know, getting something well known. For, for you, was it just kind of a wonderful unexpected happenstance because of your work? Well, I always have my camera. Okay. And generally, almost all the photography is just what happens as I'm walking around with a camera. Uh -huh. So that's kind of where it comes from. And I think the thing that people like about Sweet Pea and the Farms is, is we're very authentic. It's just, it, it was, I mean, Sweet Pea got sick. And normally, you know, I was very hesitant about whether or not I would show that, but yeah. that's what happened. So we, we showed that. and. So people followed along with her being, you know, with her ill and her recovery. And so I think it's that, you know, the animals are just, they're all here, you yeah. know, and it wasn't that we set out that Sweet Pea would become something or we would do this. It all just sort of organically happened. People just fell in love with her. In the way, it's funny, the, how I photographed her, she, she looked like she smiled. She was smiling. Yeah. You know, so there are always these, these pictures of her that, that make her look like she's smiling. And I think people really got a kick out of that because I used to get comments where they said, you know, I always just thought sheep were boring. Yeah, they don't. Or you can't tell them apart. They don't have they a lot all of personality, yeah. Right. So it was really, in a way, it was finding the personalities that each of these animals had their own little quirks, their own little personalities. So you're someone who, you know, you live a little bit off the beaten path. You're here in beautiful rural Vermont, and yet you've been able to connect with an audience of thousands of people around the world. Uh, what sorts of words of wisdom or inspiration would you have for folks that are maybe writers, authors, um, artists who, who live in a less urban area but who want to connect with a big audience? Well, the way, the way I did it was I started out sharing what I do, which is photography, fine art photography on Facebook. And, you know, I, I think I launched on Facebook five or six years ago, so I had one friend, my mother, and then, you know, my family, uh -huh. and then I had, you know, then it went hundreds, and it was a thousand, and then it was two thousand and three thousand. So when I got to the point of, of, of wanting to sell a book, I had an audience mm -hmm. that would buy, would buy the book. Because mm -hmm. I actually ran, had, a, I had a gallery in Stowe for a few years, mm -hmm. and the only traffic you got was who walked through the door. Right. And that was your engagement. So the off-season was really slow, whereas with Facebook, it's my gallery. So every day I make a posting, and what I do is I try to showcase what it is I do, the farm animals, you know, the seasons. I'm all about, you know, Vermont's all about seasons. So I think it's really about staying authentic to what you, what's in your environment, you know. What you love. What you love and do what, do what you love. And that's really my advice because, I mean, I could be here and I could be writing a book about my travels around the world that I'm not doing, 
but it's really my whole focus is within you know a couple of miles just around here I don't really travel much anymore I used to travel but I don't any that much anymore because I'm very happy just here I mean here we have the little ones here coming Hi, out behind you oh my goodness let's um, not move I don't want to scare them they're so cute and then the, the lat, Maisie's doing her job she's a she's a really great border collie see how she's like keeping them all ordered yep and she's that's, just she's she's living the life that she's supposed to live and I think I'm living the life I'm supposed to live. I, I always wanted to be a farmer, but I didn't really want to be a dairy farmer. My product is pictures. I'm a picture book farmer. Do you love so, children's books too? Because I definitely oh, love I do. them. Yeah, my, my wife, Jennifer really has quite a collection of children's books and she's more of the the one who comes up with the story. Yeah, the voice. She's the voice of the farm and then what happens the way we put our books together is she'll come up with a storyline and then I'm coming up with the images and then I'm making the images kind of work around the storyline mm -hmm. because we're not actually photographing the images to make a book. They're just they're, they're just they, beautiful they're images. images that happen. Yeah, that's so amazing. And I love that you've been able to come so far and do so much just with the power of social media. You're creating that ability for people to feel like they're part of your mm -hmm. farm and your world. And that they love it so much that they literally, you have a real Facebook wall, mm -hmm. which I think everybody should check out because it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you our wall. Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. Dear Sweet Pea and friends, lots of love, Emilio. Um, here we have, uh, I like the horsey, oh my goodness. These were all people that we I met on Facebook. And so I think the thing that this really shows is this is really Facebook becoming real. Yeah. This is so great. It's such right. a nice pleasure to meet you, John. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you again. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming. Take care. Thanks for coming along with us today. I learned how social media can be used strategically to support artists who may live away from city centers. And while it can be challenging to be an artist here in Vermont, social media can be the difference between success and failure. Thanks to John Churchman for letting us tag along and see how the sheep over and his other kids' books came to be. To find out more about John's picture book farm, go to www.sweetpeaandfriends.com. Production of Innovate is supported in part by Sovernet Communications, connecting communities, schools, nonprofits, and businesses to one another around the world. More information at sovernet.com and by Merchants Bank, committed to supporting Vermont's innovators. More information on Merchants Bank is available at mbvt.com. Additional funding provided by the following contributors.